Welcome back to the Habit Based Lifestyle Podcast. I am your host, Jesse Ewell, and today I have my beautiful wife, very beautiful wife. Oh, yeah. Stop, very, stop very, kissing very my butt. He's in trouble. Can you tell? Beautiful wife. <laughs> the CEO mom, Katie Ewell. How are you? G- great. Yeah? Yeah. What's, what's great? What's today? Tuesday? It is. Uh, it is Tuesday. What's great? Well, um, well, we had a good day, me and the kids. Bubba had orientation for his new school. I felt completely connected there. The vibe was amazing. We did school supply shopping. We packed their binders. Um, yeah, that's what's great. Okay. Got my nails done. Yeah, that's great. They look great. You look great. Oh. Want to hear so, what's not so great? Let's uh, <laughs> let's get into the episode. So we're gonna talk today. I've been out of town for almost a week, and pretty uh, much a week because you didn't get home till like eight last night. So yeah, so uh, yeah, I pretty much was gone a week. Okay, but uh, what is it like? You know, and this may be for other moms out there or other uh, dads out there or uh, husbands that they can learn from you. Uh, on this, but like, what is it like when I'm gone for a week? Honestly, it's, I mean, it comes and goes with like good and bad at times. It's great. The kids and I just kind of do our thing. We just flow into our routine. Um, I don't necessarily stress about dinner or if the bed's made, or a lot of times I, I, I pick up the house knowing, you know, you're going to come home and I like it to be presentable, not maybe just the bedroom. Um, But yeah, it's, and and then there's times where, you know, I have Bubba going to football, Julia going to cheer, um, Jocelyn has swimming lessons, they're all hungry, they're all screaming, I just want to sit down for a minute, and um, I have, you know, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it would be just, it would be so nice to have a little break right now. Um, Or the times, you know, that it really makes me realize the times that you show up um, and you're there, like at night, um, to help with bath time, or dinner prep, or or putting the kids to bed or you know we do we've done our episode on tag team parenting or when shit's just going sideways and Julia's freaking out and I want to lose my mind yeah so last night or yesterday I got home yeah and you were uh you got home and then I got home later last night well you got home at like 11 30 yeah and I was uh, working out and then I had to drop off the, the dry cleaning. And you're like, when are you going to be home texting me? And I'm like, if you got to go do something, go do it. And you're like, no, I'll wait for you. So I'm like, OK, so get home, get a little kiss. And then you're like, all right, I'm going to work. It's like you drop your suitcase and you're gone. And then you're yeah, you're gone till like 8 p.m. And I mean, I think as as a mom and as you're gone, you you kind of look forward to that day that, oh my God, daddy's coming home. And you know, you're like the night before, I can't wait to be home. And then you're not really home. I like it when you call me daddy. (laughs) And so then it's, yeah, it's kind of like, I I honestly was thinking about this today because I I was a little frustrated because last night, you know, you didn't get home. And so I, we did school supplies and we went out to dinner and then I don't know what else we needed. There's there's a lot going on right now, and that's probably it too, and a lot. Julia has choreography, and Bubba has football. And so I I was thinking for – I needed to write, like, some advice for for husbands that go out of town. And I figured if if it's at least three to four days, like, you need to walk in with either – a bottle of wine and some chocolate and maybe like bubble bath. And you have decided that you are going to like, if you get home at 11, like you take the kids the rest of the day and you, and you say, babe, look, you've rocked this, but take the rest of the day off, take them to work. I don't care where you take them. But like at that time, like I literally want to fall on the ground and kind of like have CPR, but you didn't do that and then you're missing me. Clearly, you're probably wanting sex. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, do you, I'm exhausted. Like the last thing you're going to get because I'm going to go to bed is sex. So just some advice, men, if you go out of town and yes, we can hold down the fort. Yes, we can rock it. Yes, we want to support you. But yes, it's a lot. And that's OK. But when you get home, it doesn't have to be alcohol. But for me, it would be, yes, a nice glass of wine or maybe a margarita and some space. 
and not just drop the luggage and peace out, I'm going to work. And then possibly you would get a little more connection and not have to wait another week. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're speechless. Yeah, I am. Well, and then here, here's to top it off. Let's just share more. This is good. This is all about, this is communication. This is where like marriagehood is. But, and then I have my, you know, my day planned out today and I'm like, okay, he's back. And he said, he's going to help, you know, take the kids to some of their activities and I'm going to get my workout in, but Bubba has this. And, and I'm like, all of a sudden I'm noticing on Facebook, I'm being tagged in all these posts that this guy is going live with us tonight. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, I have a workout. We have this. Jesse was telling me. And so I have to text you because you don't, you're, you're clearly like busy. And you said, oh yeah, Changing I, people's lives. I set that up. So yeah, that's just, you, you need to remember that like, we need to conversate. Yeah. <laughs> So about that. that yeah so uh i screwed up and but that's didn't, okay didn't tell you that we had a 5 30 facebook live interview interview uh for marriage boot camp our co-creating business together and i messed it up by not communicating that's all right i made it happen because i always do and dropped everything so i could be here for you babe uh for us for us uh not for me for us okay yeah. So, uh, you know, so like maybe some rules next time is I have to come home armed with tequila and limes and be prepared <laughs> to make you margaritas. And then uh, I also need to come home and be prepared that I'm just going to take the kids for the whole afternoon. Yeah. And then then I might and then you can have some bubble bath and then we might I might get lucky that night. That Yes, definitely. OK, for sure. Yeah. Yep. So is there any other advice you would uh, give uh, give men or anything else that I messed up on? No, I just love this. And it's real talk. And I'm glad that we can have this conversation here, you know, for everyone to hear that this is like, this is real shit. We're walking through it. And um, I totally didn't ask you if you'd like any feedback because typically that's what we do. And I just gave you my feedback. But I think I got to the point where. Yeah, you, you don't usually ask for <laughs> feedback. You just give it to me. And uh, luckily, I've gotten used to it to where I'm OK with it. Totally OK. And here, look, wives, moms, whatever, like. If you're thinking something, if something's on your heart, like don't hold it in, like talk to him about it, because look, next time Jesse goes out of town, if he ever goes again, maybe things will be different. Yeah, maybe they will. OK. So what else is uh, what else is happening what else is happening? A lot is happening. We have our firstborn son turning 12 on Friday, and I can't believe it. Yeah. And then also, uh, we kind of missed, you know, maybe an episode, but uh, we've been here for a little over a year. Mm -hmm. um, so let's maybe talk about what, you know, what's maybe two things that you've learned by uh, moving just over the last year, like, what is maybe the first thing, or we could go three things, but maybe what is the biggest thing you've learned just from moving? Because, uh, you know, that, that was a huge move for us and our family. Right. And I can say my biggest fear was the kids because that is my heart, my everything. And I, I was so worried um, about the kids and not, not like fitting in because they're great kids, but just leaving their friends and how they would feel and oh my gosh, just what they, what they would walk through. And, and it has been, I mean, all my girlfriends told me, oh my gosh, they're resilient. They'll be fine. They'll just, they'll just do their thing. And they, they really have. Um, and I think a lot of times, you know, and I had, um, one of my girlfriends, Jill, who's incredible that I talked to quite a bit. She's like, it's just going to take a little bit of time, Katie, but just trust. And so they've, that's probably number one is I really, learned that the kids have done incredible, really incredible. And the second thing is just the connections that we've made um, through the kids and through sports and everything has been incredible. And I really, I really truly believe it does take a little time to find your community, but I truly feel with where we're living now, the home feels like home. Um, like I said, I, I went to the school orientation today and it was incredible. And I, I truly, 
feel so just peaceful and so like our roots, like we've planted our roots and I, and I'm loving, I'm, I'm loving this. Okay. So out of that, Mm -hmm. what is, what's one thing that you've learned in the last year? Like with this move that we've made. That it was a incredible decision. Okay. So like if, if somebody was maybe listening to this. Okay. Um, you know, and they growth whole, is uncomfortable. Yeah. Their whole family was, you know, where they were, but they, you know, deep down inside, they're like, Hey, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to move out of, you know, maybe this place where I've grown up or lived, uh, the last however many years, uh, you're saying growth is uncomfortable. Yeah. And just do it. Like, I mean, you have to leap, you never know until you do it. And that was, I mean, that was something that I said, even going, I'm like, our kids will never know what it's like to not live here if they don't have the opportunity to not live here. And if it's horrible, we can always go back. Right. But I truly believe, like I shared with you and I went home for a girlfriend's husband's memorial, um, you know, I struggled for the first six months wondering if we made the right decision and we had a lot of changes going on. But this last time going home and I was alone and driving, literally like in my heart, in my soul, I was like, we're done here. Like we have clearly to go visit, but like, I truly feel like our, our time, you know, in Washington was done. And I didn't have that sense of going back or missing or whatnot. Yeah. I mean, I I would say this last year was probably the most uncomfortable uh, year. I think, you know, I've ever had, yeah. Um, and I think a big part of it is just the, the change of environment. You know, it's like, it's almost like when you grow, when you're, you're uncomfortable, there's like very little stability under you or very little things you have control over. Um, and I don't mean that in a way of like, but we, you know, we had our own business where we controlled literally everything right we had our school we had our doctors we had our yeah. dentist we knew we had it all planned out and so when you move you lose control yeah. of everything and everything that was certain becomes uncertain mm-hmm. and everything that's uncertain we constantly are looking for some type of control and so um even i would say even the house we lived in we didn't have control over because we we're renting so it's like there was even that uncertainty And that was something that was new to us. That was something new to me that it was like, man, like this is super uncomfortable. There's like zero comfort or zero um, stability in that. And and that's where like it, it like started to mess with my head for probably the first six to eight months. And then as we've. Right. And I also think I remember saying to myself because our first home was a great home. We lived there because it was brand new, but it never truly felt like home. And I remember asking myself one day, like, clearly you can create home or you can create what you had before anywhere. Right. So what do you need to do to to make it that way? And for us, it was community. Yeah. Connection. I mean, for the kids to be able to go ride their scooters out in the street a school that we felt, you know, a part of. And, and so that's literally what we, what we went for. Right. And it's been, you know, we gave up a view, an awesome view with not much of a neighborhood for our kids to play in to come to a a new area that has a much better area for our kids to play. And it's a much better house for us. And it's just, it's been, amazing so far well and i can say i love the view but you can drive to see that view you can't the view for me is in my heart and what i'm creating for our kids right now and the memories you know our family's making and the friendships and so yeah to me that's what it's all about and the views in my heart to your heart oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) so um you know what's like what's I'm I keep kind of get, bringing you back to this lesson of mm-hmm. growth is uncomfortable, but right. like, what's maybe one thing that uh, you know you've learned for yourself just with choosing to take a leap, and even like with what we've went through, it's like man, we're we have our own 
you know, program we're doing. And like, there's a lot of stuff that even goes with that. We're going through marriage boot camp with five other couples, which is making it, things uncomfortable even at times. Right. And you keep going back to this question, but I keep, I don't really know how to answer it, but I, something that just came to my mind was through this last year and what we've walked through and leaving behind the gyms and our identity and who we were and coming here, like I've never felt more comfortable and more confident just being myself. Um, I've gotten this opportunity, I mean, to make, to meet new friends, to start our um, marriagehood, to connect with other couples to, I mean, I've never, I don't know. I think it's really just trusting myself. And really I had to deal with just me. I didn't have the security of my family or the friendships or the coffee shop dates. You know, it was just me versus me really. And I had to, I had to fight for that and, and fight for what I wanted and who I wanted to become and really realize that that person is within me. And so whatever I put out or whatever I create um, is just going to make where I'm at now or our, whether it be our family or our business or, or whatnot. It's, it's just like we, I said, going back to growth is uncomfortable, but that's going to give me my comfort. It's really me being comfortable with me being me. Right. And then going from there. And yeah, I mean, I just, I was... I have girlfriend, you know, how, how's it going, whatever. And I just literally haven't felt so, I mean, I feel incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool to, you know, in a way at first it was like, man, nobody like knows who you are. Yeah. Um, but like, I, you know, when I first moved to Seattle, that's kind of how it was. Is like, I didn't know anybody. And then over a certain amount of time, it was like I knew everybody. But like even being here, it was like we knew nobody. Mm -hmm. And then now over time, we're beginning to meet more and more people. And I think the cool thing is, is, you know, it's like who we were in Washington is not the same people who we are today in the same sense of, you know, we've grown right. so much over the last year from just being put in a constant, like, uncomfortable situation. Well, and we really got to choose. I mean, we talk about this island we stand on. Like, we were literally, we knew people we had, but we were kind of put on an island to create what we wanted and to choose who we wanted to be and what we wanted to become. Right. You know, and I'm, yeah. And yeah, it was hard and it was scary in times. It was like, I don't know if I want to be here and is this really going to work? And I mean, there's all that. But that's that space in between where we were and kind of where we are today. But then we're going to, you know, there's always that next space where we are today to where um, and that space is uncomfortable. But that's where everything's happening. Right. And you have to choose to go into that space if you want to grow. Right. Right. And you got to let go. And are to you going to wrap? Yeah. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> Ho. <laughs> Mo. Homo. Okay. Uh, any final words that you want to talk about on our, our move or? No. Come um, on. It is hot as hell in here. Yeah. I'm, like I can well, feel the sweat about down my back. It has, it's not that. Um, any final words? Yeah, we've been off for a, a few weeks and been inconsistent. With I have our not been off with anything. With our podcast. So uh, we want to make a commitment that we're going to be doing this once a week. Okay. So any final words? For um, any final words? For some CEO moms out there or uh, men, men's. Well, the men know, like if you're going to go on a trip, like come home and take the kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We know that. Okay. So let's move um, on to I don't know. We talked about moving and, and if you feel uncomfortable in any situation you're in, I mean, just lean into it. I mean, try it on. You don't have to stay where you are. You don't have to, it, nothing's permanent. Just try it. You may love it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So, well, thanks for being on today. Oh, anytime, honey. Uh, if you guys are looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook, where I will be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. If you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living a habit-based lifestyle or possibly sign up 
for our marriage boot camp two day live event. Whoop, whoop. Feel free to reach out to me, Jesse, at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Let me see what I can do to help you or assist you along the way. Until next episode, have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,